Welcome everyone, I'm with Arian from Scars.city. How are you doing, man? Very good, very good. How are you? Excellent. Uh, so we're at Unconfiscatable and Scars.city, I think many people know it now. What is it? We're basically a marketplace for uh, Bitcoin goods. We're pushing Bitcoin culture forward as, 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 as forward as possible. We have Bitcoin art there. We have Bitcoin digital assets, 100% on Bitcoin, no shitcoin, no fiat. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the core principle is like you have, it's an auction, right? So you can, you can auction um, things. What is on auction today? <laughs> today we have we have a bunch for sale. For instance, we have digital assets for sale uh, from Marcus Connor. He put up uh, 200 of his digital assets for sale up on Scarce City. We also have uh, this piece here up for auction, right? Very pretty. Bitcoin There's religion. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have the Bitcoin religion up for auction as well. And these are all found on Scarce.City. You can find them on the unconfiscatable collection. Uh, yeah, go ahead and bid. Awesome, thank you so much. And what's what's the future plan? I mean, how do you grow this business? Do you know anything about it? Right, so we're, we're going to venture out to merchandise as well. So artists can place the merchandise on Scarce City. Um, we're also going to support counterparty NFTs or digital assets a lot more. So adding a lot of counterparty NFTs there. And um, any other NFT protocol that enters Bitcoin, again, only Bitcoin, we will be there to support. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people are, you know, skeptical now since like Open OpenSea, I think, was running into some issues regarding uh, censorship, let's say, or something like that. Um, what is your view or your take on that? No, no censorship at all. We don't believe in any censorship. Um, we, we do curate the digital assets to a point where we do right now, we're selling rare Pepe's mm -hmm. and fake rares. That's not to say that we're not going to expand to other collections. But censorship, we're just 100% uh, right. anti censorship And I guess, I mean, the, the, the upside with Scarce City being Bitcoin only is that at least people aren't, you know, confronted with having their payment, you know, in an asset that's more censored, like prone to be censored or, or you know, cut off or whatever. Exactly. Whereas, like, Bitcoin is really the true and only, like, decentralized, secure network, right? 100%. And we, we you know, we're 100% Bitcoin. Right. Um, it is, we are a centralized solution in the sense that we do send out the, the, the NFTs, but besides that, we're 100% we're on Bitcoin now. So a lot of people um, cry that, you know, like the, the NFT that they bought, it's like, on, you know, like right click save, you know, and it's not scarce. Uh, so you have some NFTs and I mean, is it more of, what, yeah, well, how do you see that, that conflict that, you know, like digital assets aren't really scarce? <laughs> I mean, in the sense, so the digital asset might not be scarce in the sense of the JPEG or PNG or the GIF, completely right. The art isn't a token. The token is actually the art in which you have and you can claim ownership of that art. You can trade it. Um, the trouble happens when uh, people buy it and think it's an investment. And to think of a JPEG as an investment is something else. Right? Let's, let's walk over there and finish off. Uh, so tell us more about this piece and like what's the auction like? Will it be auctioned today or? Yeah, so the auctions end tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock noon. So that's Saturday, 12 noon uh, Pacific time. They'll be ending. This is the Bitcoin Mandala by uh, Crayon Smell. One of my favorite pieces. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much and best of success. Thank you. Thanks.